I'm here in the busy and beautiful city of Kochi in Kerala and we are in the south of India. So after so many comments telling me to visit God's own country, I finally arrived and I can't wait to have some adventures, meet some locals, <laughs> is it a berry? And try the amazing food oh. in this special part of the country. In this video, we're gonna try some South Indian and Kerala classics for the first time while finding out what Kochi has to offer. And today we're going to Fort Kochi. Apparently it is definitely a must see if you come to this part of India. But first, I always need to start my day with a chai. Hi. Do you have chai? Um, how much? Ten. Ten? Can I have one? What's what's this? Lime. Lime juice? Yes. Is it good? How much is it? Twenty. Okay, can we have one of them as well? We got here and there was a guy slurping down some juice and it looks good, so we're gonna try the lime juice and also I have to have my morning chai. 30 rupees all together. <laughs> Thank you. Cold okay, out, so out. I have a hot chai and a cold lime juice. Oh! Everyone's okay. been telling you to try this. Okay, I like this. Sour, like citrus, but they've definitely put sugar in it, so it's like sweet at the same time. It's kind of cool. I guess I haven't had other lime juices to compare it to. So it seems super popular, so I'm glad I tried that. Everyone's stopping to grab one of these lime juices. Across the road as well. Same across thing. the road? Yeah, look. <laughs> Let me try this chai. Yeah. We're going to head this way, actually. We're going this way, okay. The chai is not my favorite chai. How much is the banana? 10 rupees. 10 rupees. Do you want one? We'll share one, yeah. Can we just have one? Yeah. Sorry, thank yeah. you. All right, we're gonna grab a fried banana. We were just walking past and we're like, hey, that's a banana. So we just came in. It's for 10 rupees for one, so let's see. Thank you. Thank you, 10 rupees. Oh, thank you so much, thank you. It's a little bit floppy. <laughs> oh, that would have been so nice fresh. So we're just walking down these really local streets to get to Marine Drive which will then take us on a boat. You have to pay for, I think it's a couple of rupees to get to Fort Kochi. 12 rupees you said, for six, two of us? Six each. I thought he said 200, I was, I was like, huh? This is the boat. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have started moving and we are heading out to Fort Kochi. Let's see how we go. So this is actually pretty cool. It's going at like sort of a very leisurely pace. It takes about 15 minutes, I think. So we'll see how long it takes when we get to the other side. It's nice. The breeze is nice. <laughs> no, thank you. So I guess, no, thank you. So I guess this is Fort Kochi. So we're heading into the city part now and it's looking so cute. Look at this like, Oh, I'm looking in the viewfinder, but I can see like the buildings and everything just looks really nice. This is the backwaters. So you have, um, it could, could be like a day trip or something. Um, it looks really nice. We've actually chosen to do something else here with our time in Kochi in Kerala. So make sure you do um, subscribe if you want to see that. That's the next video, I think. We're, we've come to this stall on the side and I know we kind of ate not that long ago, but look how many people are having these bananas that we had this morning. But these ones seem like super fresh. So look at all the people eating these bananas. I'll see what it is like compared to the one this morning. Hi, sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Is this a banana? Um, banana? Banana, banana, banana. 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 Banana, banana, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's hot. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> There's lots of this, um, like, it's not a scarf or a, it looks like a little dress. It's not a dress. I don't know. Banana? Banana. Banana. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> so lots of people wearing this traditional, what looks like a dress, but I'm not sure. So if you know what it is, tell me. I don't want to point the camera at them without them, but yeah, they're wearing them all down there and around there. So tell me what that's called. Oh, that's good. This one is so fresh, so crispy. Oh, what's it called? In the Philippines, it was called Banana Q. Today's vlog had no real plan besides get to Fort Kochi, which is pretty much what we've done. So let's go to this cafe and figure out what we're gonna do from here. 
there's this one here. So we need to figure out what the best site to see here in Fort Kochi is. And to do that, we're gonna have to join this Wi-Fi in the cafe. So guys, whenever you travel, you should have a VPN installed on your phone for moments like this. So luckily this video is sponsored by NordVPN. So it may not seem like you would need it, but cafes and public Wi-Fi areas are actually pretty scary. So someone can actually set up a fake Wi-Fi network that you think belongs to the cafe, and then you join it and bam, they've stolen your sensitive information. So if we just pop onto NordVPN before we connect, it makes sure that even if it is a fake network, your data is safe and secure. So the team at NordVPN have been kind enough to give you guys a special deal. If you sign up with Josie at NordVPN, you will get four months free and 61% off. So I'm gonna leave it in the description bar and in a pinned comment for you. So I do strongly recommend a VPN like Nord as a travel essential, to be honest. It helps us while traveling to log into bank accounts, social medias, just accessing our personal information without worrying. So I have this weird thing where I have to watch something when I eat. So what I usually do is use the VPN to access Netflix from whatever country that I want. And for the boys, Michael uses it to access sports so we can watch it for free wherever we are around the world as well. Thank you sugar. so much. Oh, sugar. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Unfortunately for coffee lovers like me, you're hard pressed to find a good one. This is a Spanish omelette. I'm trying not to let it fall off my plate. So Michael got this watermelon and lime juice. This is delicious. All right, so now we know where we're going and what we're gonna see here. Let's head off to see the fisherman's nets first, I think. Okay, so we're at the Chinese fishing nets now and all these little like local stores back here along the way as well. But the water's right here. I get a nice cool breeze. What's it? Where's the net? No, it's they're up in the air there, but I'm saying this guy, these guys on this boat are right now. Yeah, right there. They're fishing. So these are the fishing nets there, and they're still used today. Michael was telling me how fishing works, because I don't really know. Um, but it gets dropped down into the water from the height. Fish swim into it, and it comes back up, and that's how you fish. I'm actually not sure if that's how it works. That's not how it works? I don't understand. Okay, I still don't get it. Hi! Hi! Oh. Hi! <laughs> so apparently this was one of the things to do here, um, but I don't know. I'm... Well, it's not one of the things to do, it's just part of the history. It's just part of the history, okay. India and China are one of the first countries to trade. Sure. Right? So the, that's a Chinese invention that they sort of gifted India in return for whatever India gave them back in the day. Okay, as a tourist uh, destination, underwhelming. If and... you love history, probably interesting. Oh. Okay. So it is very hot time I think down in the south of India right now and we are both struggling with the heat at the moment I can't stop sweating so okay so we're walking along here and there's just a full-on beach here this is really cool it's obviously not the same vibes as Goa where we just came from I'm gonna link that video on the screen for you right now <laughs> that's cool I almost fell on these rocks um, I have to say we are very blessed in Australia to have such nice beautiful beaches um, but it is pretty cool to see. We've been in cities mostly besides Goa and India. So this is cool to see a beach nonetheless. There is a lot of rubbish everywhere. Um, no denying that. Uh, it's everywhere all over the beach. So uh, not very inviting for me for that reason. But So the other thing to see that we saw online was this basilica. Um, but I can't get in. There's a... Close the fire. Oh, it's closed. Yeah, we're here a little bit later today, so we can't go in. It's uh, locked off by this thing. It was built by the Portuguese, knocked down at some point, and then rebuilt by the British. Oh, and okay. And in the mid-1900s, the Pope declared it a basilica, which I think, not religious, uh, I think means like an important church of some sort. So we've seen that there's a lot of catechali, catechali? Mandela pen. Oh, I probably butchered that. But there's a lot of these around the um, island. It's like a cultural thing where they put makeup on and dance as well. But we've kind of come at the wrong time. We've missed the beginning and yeah, so I'm not sure what we can do or see. What? How much is the show? 500 rupees a person. Is it possible to pay just to see the makeup without the show? It's one big ticket, right? We can't yeah. do that? Okay, that's all right. Thank you so much anyway. Thank you. We have to head back. Thank you. Hi. Do you have cold water? One. Oh, one. How much is it? 20. Yeah, perfect. So, oh, Here's yeah. Oh. Oh. The... <laughs> Thank you. Oh. oh, it takes them across on the bike? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I'm dying of the heat in case you can't tell. <laughs> I traveled back to the city from Fort Kochi covered in sweat from the Kerala heat wave, but excited to get some rest before a big day of trying some mouth-watering street food. All right, so we are about to get some chai, but I have been reading all of your comments Hi! <laughs> of all your comments telling me where to go in India. So make sure you leave them down below. Where else do I have to go? I'm still only about halfway through the trip. So let's grab some chai. Hello! T-shirt. T-shirt! Uh, <laughs> do you have chai? Half. Uh, How much? Twelve. Twelve? One chai, twelve. Twelve rupees. How many? Twelve rupees, one tea. Twelve rupees? It's usually ten. I only have ten. Ah, uh, no problem. It's okay? Uh, Alright, just one. 
Thank you. Oh, monster. Do you have white monster? No, I only like the white one. Let me have a look. Look at all this fruit. Like limes. I don't know what they are. Pomegranates. I'm not sure. Maybe that's an orange, but it's green. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look at my chai. It's a pretty good chai. It's not as sweet as usual. I kind of like it a bit sweeter, but it's smooth. As a smooth chai. Thank you. Delicious. Thank you so much. Oh. Hi, are you open? Yeah. We're here to try. We're at Pie Brothers, I think. Oh, oh, oh. They always scare me. Is there a uh, dosa that's popular? The best? This is popular. Egg salt and pepper. Egg salt and pepper? Yeah. I've heard about paper dosa. Is paper dosa good? Yeah, we get the paper egg butter as well. Pepper egg butter. This is big dosa. Is it? No, that. No, no, no. <laughs> like this chicken egg, egg onion tomato. Okay. Egg onion tomato with garlic chutney paste. Oh, garlic chutney and yeah. tomato? And onion tomato and potato masala. Onion tomato masala. Okay, we'll try that. Egg. I'll try that one. Alright. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Can I watch you? Okay, no problem. Oh, Chicken egg? Yeah, yeah, chicken egg. This is duck egg. Duck egg. Michael's over there. I think he's going to start his own channel. Oh. Onion. Onion this garlic paste. Garlic paste. Yum. Spices. This is puri puri. Puri puri. Is it spicy? No, it's spicy. Okay, good. <laughs> Tomato onion. Tomato onion. Yes. And the green? This green chili. Oh. Which one's spicy? This is spicy. That's spicy? Are these ones spicy? Normal. Okay. Okay, so mine is covered with duck eggs and that potato masala cooked only on this side, on one side. And Michael's looks like a massive omelette and it's got like cooked on both sides, flipped over, tomatoes in there. But we both have these like line of four different sauces as well. Do I eat, with, do I eat it with my hands? Or, my... or with my fork? I'm not confident with my hands. But how do you get these bits? Really good. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, so tasty. I taste like the chunks of potato in his. It's like a big omelette with potato. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. That's still That's really good. It's so nice. I don't know which better actually. Yours might be better. I am so surprised by how good this is. I am absolutely loving mine as well. So all you guys telling me in the comments to eat food in the south and that the south has really good food. I I believe you. I believe you. This is really good already. 350. Thank you. Delicious. <laughs> so this is really cool. We were walking to find the next dish and we came across this walking street out of nowhere. Textiles, humans, <laughs> bags, shoes, clothes, everything here. It's really cool. Hi. Hi. <laughs> One person waved and then just everyone started waving them. That was awesome. I have not seen one other tourist in this shop or this walking mall, which is really cool. Obviously it means we found something local, right? I love it. Okay, so we've made our way to Marine Drive. There's the water right there. And it's really breezy here, which is good because it's so hot. Um, what is that? I don't know what that is. Melon? No. Watermelon? Cucumber? Kokumba. Uh, I don't know what that is. Kukumba. That's alright. Kokumba. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what it is, so I'm not gonna get it, but apparently it's Kokumba. Okay, apparently the thing to get here is called Kaluki Saba. So we're gonna grab one of them. Um, apparently the one called Boost. We have uh, the Kaluki Saba. But uh, Kaluki Boost? Saba. Boost? Uh, is that good? Uh, okay, we'll have that one with the Boost. One of this. Green mango chili. Chili? Ah, uh, green mango. But is it spicy? Uh, it's spicy. It is? Yes. I don't want it spicy. Okay, no spicy. Okay, no spicy, no spicy. Sweet, uh, what? Spicy. You want your spicy? Uh, no, I guess Yeah, no, no spicy. Okay. But can I have two? Uh, I'll boost your ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sweet, no, sweet, no, sweet, no, sweet. No, no, sweet. No, 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 no. Sweet, my I almost got myself in a pickle there with some spicy drink. <laughs> so was that the ice cream? Yes. Yeah, ice cream. Whoa. Ice cream. <laughs> Oh. What is it? Is it chocolate? Oh, milk. Oh. It's 3D. 
Oh, he's angry. Oh, oh. Nice. Nice. Do you ever drop it? Well, that one's really yes. cool. How much are they? 80. 80. Mama. You're who? Thank you. Is it my turn now? I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so good. All right, let's go. So I don't even know. I don't even know what's in it. It looked like juice. Was it lime juice? But then milk, ice I have cream, no idea. chocolate stuff. Is it good? Yeah. What I find crazy yeah. is we're, we're trying. Oh to find my it. goodness. Oh, <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> That is delicious! We were trying to find the right place to get it. Have a look at all the shops. There's so many. Everyone does it. There's so many of them, like just next to each other. And everyone's looking at me loving it. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's either like chocolate or Milo or malt or something. Coffee or something, yeah. Not coffee. It's like chocolatey. But then you get like the milk and the... The ice cream's melted so it's like creamy. It tastes like a milkshake. It tastes so good. This is possibly my favorite drink in India. What? Favorite drink in India. Better than a lassi. Better than a lassi. Ooh. Better than a lassi. Tell me in the comments. Lassi or? Kaluki. Kaluki Sabah. <laughs> First. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. I want to swear, but this is amazing. <laughs> oh, you're so right. I did not expect this taste. I know. That's, sorry. I really did swear. Okay, when, when food or drink makes us both nearly swear, you know it's good. That is so good. Oh, where do I put it? Here? Yeah. You thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. He's talking. It's all good. <laughs> I was just going to ask the, the uh, donut. Is it a donut? What's that? The round one? Onion. Onion. Oh, onion. Is it sweet? Oh, not really. How much is it? 12 rupees. How many? 12? Can I have one? Is there anything sweet? What do you like? Black color. Black color. Black one? I don't know. Do you like it? What is it? Chocolate? Undamburi. What? Undamburi? Undamburi. Is it a berry? Um, yeah. so, uh, uh, sweet? It's good? Do you like it? Uh, super. Okay, super. how much do you pay for it? How much is it? Super. Hey, uh, uh, Raita. 12, what, 12, 12 rupees? Again? Yeah, okay. yeah, 12, 12, 12 rupees. Yeah. We'll get one. Yeah, just one, just one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what this is. He said onion, but it looks like a donut. And he said it's not sweet. But I feel like it should be sweet. Okay. That is so confusing. It, it tastes like an onion or like vegetable-y. The dough makes it feel like it should be a, like a donut. Can you see? I feel like I'd prefer a sweet donut, I think. This one probably isn't my favorite. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Tell me in the comments below. They tried to help me, but I didn't understand. This one's supposed to be sweet. It's like a bready ball. It kind of reminds me of banana bread, but that's better. This one's my favorite more than the other one, that's for sure. It's like banana bread. Hi, that's uh, better. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> So I've seen something really cool here. It's a wall and it says like mental health matters, don't bottle it up, make sure that you're feeling okay mentally. And I don't see that often anywhere, let alone I haven't seen it anywhere in India yet. So this is really, really cool. I love the vibe here in the South. So let me know in the comments below what other Southern food in India here I have to try. Um, and I'll try and do it in the next couple of videos while we are in the South. But if you like this video, I know you're gonna like this one. Watch it after this one. Subscribe if you haven't, I'll see you in the next one here in the south of India. Bye.